Good morning, St. John's. It's Wednesday morning and we are in the middle of the week, but if you're like me, you probably had to be reminded of what day it was yesterday at some point. Um, I know I did, and it's that's just, just so many things going on and so much news and so much craziness. It's, it's hard to keep track of something as simple as what day it is, but at the same time, we are just trying to be together and focus on what needs to be done. One of the things I know I'm overwhelmed by is just the need that I am seeing out there, um, not being able to really do much about it, at least feeling like I can't. Um, I'm called as pastor to care for people and to take care of folks, but um, yet I'm supposed to stay away from everybody. And so it's a hard balance to find. Um, I put it in the way I put it to counsel this morning in an email was that I unfortunately didn't take the how to be a pastor during a pandemic class in seminary. Don't think it was even offered, unfortunately. So we're figuring this all out together, but I've enjoyed um, the comments and the responses to these videos. So I intend to keep doing them each day just to connect with you and to um, just know that we are all together through all of these things. Um, some of the things I know I'm worried about, you know, we're told to keep our children home from school, but yet for some of them, that's the only meal they get each day. And so some schools have done a great job of doing meal drops and those kind of things. So I'm really um, encouraged by those things. I know that there's been several folks letting me know, hey, I dropped something in the pantry. We're, we're taking care of our community. Um, we're told to keep six feet away from each other, but yet there's a need for blood. So if you are able to go to a blood to a blood bank place and donate blood right now, that's a need. Um, but yet it's hard to, to balance that with not wanting to be around people. So it's trying to figure out what we can do. Um, we have a lot of rules in front of us right now of what we can and can't do and what's closed and what's not closed and where we are and what we can be doing. So um, it seems like each day more is added to the list. But what about things we are allowed to do? Um, I saw one of those lovely little things on Facebook that said, you know, these are things that aren't canceled, the kindness and outdoors and those kind of things. Um, but I, I kind of have my own version of that from scripture today, of course. Um, so I picked a couple of verses from Galatians for our scripture for today. Um, it's Galatians chapter 5, beginning with verse 22, if you'd like to follow along. It's just two short verses. It simply says, The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. That's it today, because as much as we might feel like there are literally laws being put up against us from doing some things, that there will never be a law against the fruits of the Spirit that God has put before us, because we can always love. We can always share moments of joy with one another, even if we have to look for them. Yesterday, I got to spend some time outside with Hannah, and we were doing this silly chore of cleaning a table with water, and we were laughing, and it was fun, and it was joyful, and I am grateful for those moments. Um, it can be hard to find joy in moments like this right now, because we are inside and we are amongst uh, one another and, and if anybody knows that you know your family gets frustrating sometimes but we still have to look for those simple moments of joy um we can always find peace in what god has given us we can always trust that god is with us um we can find patience we have to find patience right now. It's, it seems like it's running short, but we have to dig deep with one another and trust that when things change and information is given, that we're being given the best that we can and making our good decisions. Um, you can always be kind to someone, even if it's just saying hello to those that you pass by on a walk when you're outside or or take checking on someone or reaching out or knowing that you know you are caring for others. Um, we can be gentle, and I think right now we have to be gentle with ourselves because we want to do so much and we want to get things done. And we, you know, I've seen parents putting out those lists of things that they're doing with their kids, those crazy homeschool lists. Not that they're crazy, if you can do it, more power to you. And my own children are doing some schoolwork, but I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to force hours and hours of it. And we're being gentle with one another and just meeting the needs that we have. Um, and we can have self-control. We can do what needs to be done. We can get the things that need to be gotten, but leave some things on the shelves for others. We can show that self-control. We have so many opportunities to bear good fruit these days, and it is up to us to follow that call. 
So again, the scripture for today, you know, the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And there is no law against these things. For our little ones who might be watching or their families that might be watching, hi guys, I hope you're doing okay home from school. Um, I encourage you, make a fruit picture today. Get a, get a big piece of paper and draw as many kinds of fruit as you can think of and think about the fact that the fruit of the Spirit is that good stuff that comes from the trees. It's the stuff we want. And so God wants us to bear fruit too. So make a good fruit painting today and maybe even share a picture of them on our Facebook page so that others can see what you're working on at home. It's a good chance to talk about what God is calling us to do. And for our grown-ups and anyone, how are you bearing fruit today? How are you showing others your faith even when you can't show yourself to others because we're supposed to be separated, but how can you reach out and show your faith today? Perhaps we need to ask God to help us continue to bear good fruit even when others don't see it, but they can certainly feel it. Let us pray. God, help us to be good fruit this day. Help us to share your love and your peace and your joy and patience and all of those things with everyone that we don't encounter today. May we reach out and connect with others in new ways. Help us to trust you. Help us to hear your voice among us. Be with those who are sick, those who are afraid that they might be sick. Be with the front line of nurses and doctors and medical professionals and testers and anyone else, Lord, who is working at this time with first responders, with those who continue to work so that others may be comfortable and live. We thank you for those who are facing the front lines at the grocery stores and for those who continue to put the needs of others before their own. We ask that you would keep them safe. Be with our children as they face days at home. Um, help them to know that they are blessed even though they feel limited. Help us to know that you are with us, Lord. Be with us now as we pray together the prayer your son taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, St. John's, I hope you have a great day. I have a little friend here that came to visit me. He was the one crying in the background. This is Dobby. He just wanted to say hi. So actually he wants breakfast, but that's what he wants. <laughs> anyway, family, I hope you have a great day and I hope that you are safe and healthy and I will see you again tomorrow. Might be a little bit early tomorrow because um, I have a meeting scheduled for 10 o'clock. So probably closer to nine, okay? Otherwise you can always watch the video and comment and please, please know that you are in my prayers and I hope to see you soon. Take care everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.